I find that very few business owners even know what those numbers are. They're just kind of taking a stab at it. And it, it well, it's kind of like owning a Prius. It works, but it's not the most fun thing to drive. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hey, as promised here, I have uh, Lance Ford, Busy B Plumbing. Hey, welcome to Potty Talk, brother. Hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate the invite. Hey, I've been looking forward to, when I saw you on the docket here, I was looking forward to, uh, to, to having you here on Potty Talk. I, I have to admit, uh, you know, Lance, Lance has been, been around a little bit here, and, and uh, we've, we've gotten to know uh, Lance not only professionally, but uh, personally. We've been on a couple of retreats together, all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's just fun hanging out with you, man. Oh, yeah. I enjoy the heck out of it. It's always good to see you and just, you know, love the opportunity to be here um, is, is just amazing. And I'm excited to, to, you know, to be able to share um, my experiences and what I've learned through the process. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you being here. Well, let me let's take a moment here. In fact, can we bring up, um, do we have some with Busy Bee? He just has such a cool brand that he's developed worked on and we can bring up just show a little bit more you see him he's in his busy bee shirt and all that stuff here but here, here's his website here but why don't we have this up here lance why, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and and about where you're where you're at and all that kind of stuff so we'll get to know you a little better yeah um my name's lance ford um i've been in the plumbing world for about 18 years uh five years into it i realized that um there was a good opportunity for me to start a business and so i did and it's really interesting in the in the process of over this amount of time and something that I've learned in this process is, is I really, truly didn't understand how business worked. Um, I, I knew that I love to help people. I knew that um, it was exciting, you know, seeing the look on people's faces when they got stuff fixed. And and what I learned is um, that. <clears throat> Apparently, I had a really awesome hobby that uh, took care of me <laughs> and my family. I <laughs> uh, didn't really understand how it worked. Um, and ironically, I was dealing with one of these, uh, we call them customer terrorists, um, in, in person. <laughs> and I was so frustrated at the amount of time that they were consuming from me for what I was, one, providing and what I was charging in the process. Well, yeah. so it's, mm -hmm. it's hmm? I'm sorry, that's that yeah, story sounds so familiar. It sounds like my story. And I know you're talking, you know, this now it sounds like my story. <laughs> it sounds like many others yeah. know, stories that, you know, that, that are out there. And of course, those that, are, you know, before they're in the MVP success Academy on yeah. that note, Lance, what was, so you, you're kind of talking about that. What was life? Now you kind of alluded to it, it led you to, you know, seeking things out. So, but what was it like your business life and, and your life? before MDP? Uh, a lot of hours, lots and lots of hours of work. Um, I've always taken one day off a week um, just because I, I tried a couple times to work on that certain day and it didn't work out. So <laughs> I, I, I didn't do that, but I was literally putting in somewhere around 120 to 130 hours a week, six days a week. That gone. Um, and it's a lot of it was getting the business off the ground um, too. I, I had a problem telling people no. Uh, so if it, somebody asked me to do something, I, I was there, you know, no matter what. Um, I think half the time people thought I lived in my van because when they would call, they would be like, hey, uh, what are you doing right now? I'm like, well, I'm not in the van if that will help you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so it was, it was a lot. And um, the timing came down in just such an amazing way um, that I was starting to really search for knowledge. Um, I had been listening to music, you know, while you're at work, it kind of helps. So those kind of things just make the day go by faster. But all of right. a sudden, wait a minute, I'm missing something here. And stumbled across um, the MDP. Um, I think it was an advertisement. And I was listening to it and I was like, man, something about this really resonates with me. And so I started looking into it and literally in the first module, um, I connected with what you were saying. It was like, holy smokes, you know, money really doesn't have any value anymore. And here I am basing my value on what I think I'm worth, right? And knowing 
that I'm worth more. My time is worth just as much as anybody else's. And that was a big like, wow, all right. So from day one, I was hooked and I just couldn't sponge enough on the information. It was just amazing um, going through the steps and learning it. And if you task me to do something, I, I barrel in on it. I won't stop until I find the end. And uh, and it was just uh, the timing was right. Um, there was a, a lot of other influences like, you know, friends and family saying, hey, man, you need to you need to slow down. And that was definitely a big challenge for me. Um, because I was used to running around with my hair on fire all the time and it was just normal. I mean, we're raised that way, right? Like we're right. hard, you know, and you'll make all this money and you'll retire and it's really not the way things work. As you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of search Kings. Search Kings is a Google premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google local services and Google ads. If you need your phone to ring, use search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Pro VIP treatment. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash search kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. Right on. But I love that you, <laughs> your mind was in the right place. We, we see this. Your, your mind was in the right place to, to be able to take in the information and then to do it. You know, yeah. that's what we see. And that, that's why you, you've been so successful. But what, so you, you kind of alluded to the idea of money, that that kind of concept, but what was something that hit you in the academy that wasn't, you know, an extreme, you know, aha moment or a light bulb moment or, <laughs> you know, like, you know. Uh, when I did my HHR. <laughs> Your honest hourly rate? <laughs> honest hourly <laughs> rate. Yeah. It was like, holy smokes, I have undervalued myself for so many years. And you know, I'd heard it, but you, know, you hear something once and you're like, okay, you hear it two or three times. You're like, wait a minute, there's something to this. And when that happened, it was like, wow, you know, I, I didn't, now I know what, what needs to be done. I know what the numbers are. And, and I find that very few business owners even know what those numbers are. They're just kind of taking a stab at it. And it, it, well, it's kind of like owning a Prius. It works, but it's not the most fun thing to drive. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly, exactly. Well, you alluded to it, you know, again, you know, that a lot of us, you know, did it that way, don't, don't know our numbers. Was that mm -hmm. how you, you came into things? Did you, were you just kind of, as, as we, we say, pulling it out of your arse or following, you know, what everyone else was doing or? How'd you come up? Yeah. How'd you come up with your hourly rate before? Um, well, it was three times what I was making when I worked for somebody else. Um, and so I thought, all right, you know, this seems fair. And, and like I said, it, it, you know, it, in reality, it was a, it was a hobby. It really wasn't a business. Um, and, and the amazing part is I, I managed to gather in hundreds and hundreds of customers, but it was all because of this one phrase that I heard over and over and over that didn't really resonate, but it was, I want to use you to get this problem solved. And what I didn't understand was, is they were really using me, like using me, not, not that they loved my service or anything else. They knew that they were getting a heck of a deal. And so that, after you take that for a while, you kind of get to the point where you're like, wait a minute, I, you know, nobody likes to be taken advantage of. And I felt like I had reached a point in my life where I was very well taken advantage of. I did the math on it one time. It was crazy. It was something like 80,000 hours of time that I had learning about plumbing. Um, and, and, you know, very few people on the planet take the time to learn anything to that level. Right. Um, and then so there's, a, started, there's, there's a value to that, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And when I started meeting other, you know, business owners, it was like, holy smokes, you know, wow, this is this is it. And, and I, I, one of the things that really stood out to me was, is you could plug in any business into what's going on with MDP. I mean, Andy, like since that I've learned this, all of a sudden I'm coming up with these other ideas. I'm like, wait a minute, you know, I could turn That's this into a business. I could turn this into a business. I mean, lawn care business, holy smokes. You know how hard it is to get somebody to show up to mow your lawn? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> exactly. And, and we do. We have, uh, you know, we do have lawn, lawn landscaping, you know, professionals that are in the, in the academy just for that because mm -hmm. it, it, it works. It, it all works, right? Well, mm -hmm. how do you feel? 
so when you came up with your new, you know, we call it the honest hourly rate, right? And, we, and just on the side, we, we say honest because we're not being honest to our customer if we don't know why we're charging what, they're char- what we're charging. That's not honest. And we're not being honest to ourselves. He just said that. You know, I'm, I'm being taken advantage of. I'm not charging for all my, my, my knowledge and, my, and not, not to mention my time and, and for all the costs that, you know, involves in running, running my business. Mm. So what was, when you came up with your new honest hourly rate, and it was probably higher than what you thought, right? It, it would be like, I can't, what, what, was your, what, what were your initial um, feelings? Uh, the initial feelings were, honestly, once I punched the numbers in, my gut said, these are the numbers. You can't argue with them. I was scared. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it was like, and, and it's funny because there is a stage as you're growing and you're adding these different things to in the beginning, you think about just what you where you are now. Um, but then you learn it's what you want to be in the future. And you start to kind of get this little bit of pushback. And then all of a sudden you realize, wait a minute, I'm trying to get somewhere. This isn't just today. This is where I want to be three, five years down the road. So once I realized that it was like, okay. And what I found in it is the higher the numbers got, the less pushback I got. <laughs> Blew my Isn't mind. that amazing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the beginning, why do you, was, why do you think that is, Lance? I know why do you, why do you think that is? I mean, well, we, we I, see that, and you know, you've talked with others. Have been it's the We've all experienced that. The higher we go, the less pushback we get mm-hmm. on our price. Why, why do you think? I know what it is. It, it's a psychological thing. Um, it's just the way our brains operate. Um, I, I did a lot of study on that, trying to figure that out. When, when we have, when we have a fear personally it projects out into the world right so when you start getting rid of that fear is when you start to see the world can accept what you are providing and and in the level of service that we provide there is no one else around here doing it i mean we're it's not even close we're not even in the same ballpark um because we well one i have the time we have the time to actually provide the most awesome uh experience ever when it was just me and working for cheap, I didn't have time. I just kind of answered the phone as it came. Um, but now um, we have the time to really to get to know our customers and 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 treat them like they should be treated. And, and in this, in, in, and it's a twofold thing too, because now all of a sudden um, we're teaching the world that you know plumbers aren't third class citizens. We are human. We do work hard. We do. Um, things that no one else wants to do. Right on. Hey, every professional tradesman knows you wouldn't build a house without a blueprint, right? So why are you trying to build your home service business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Pro Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable home service business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab the Million Dollar Pro Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash free and start building success. And, and that deserves a level of respect, I think, just as much as, as any other trade. All right, but we got to command that respect. Really, what we're, so we're talking about, we see it winds up being a win-win. Mm-hmm. Because now you have more time to spend with the customer. We actually can take care of our customers. Mm-hmm. We can give them really what they're paying for, mm-hmm. which is more than just the fix. Okay, right. we can actually care for our customers and then we get paid in a manner that allows us not only just to cover our bills, but to create a life for ourselves and for our employees, you know, right? and, and to be, a, you know, and help create a strong economy. And so yeah. it's, a, it's a win-win. So it, it really, really is a beautiful thing. So, yeah, yeah and you discovered that right, we, right out of the bat, module one, right off the bat. That's, <laughs> yeah, it, turns out, right? it just... From there, it was all it's just all this icing on the cake, right? And even the, the the tasking part of it, the way the design is, and the I guess the psychology behind it, um, really resonated with me too. Because the, there's a certain level um, of effort that you need to put into it to understand what the next level is. I didn't cheat. I didn't skip over one. I mean, I went through every single one of them word for word and revisited one if it didn't make sense. Um, and still do, you know, just for those reminders from time to time when I forget certain things. Um, the fact that that is there available all the time, 24 hours a day, <laughs> man, right. that's, uh, it's hard to put a price on that. <laughs> right on, man. Mm-hmm. Well, what, and that, that's great, Lance. 
Um, I know we've got to let you go here. Um, got to let you get back to taking care of your customers. Um, what is something that you could share? What's a, a nugget of gold you would have, you know, for someone that was like you, like you were before, you know, just working all the time, like, like you lived in your van and just not, you know, not making, you know, what you feel your, your worth is to, to where you are today and the life you're experiencing today. Mm-hmm. Um, what's, what's a nugget of gold that you could share for someone in that boat? <laughs> the best way I know how to describe it is it's kind of like going to church for the first time. It's a little unnerving in the beginning because you really don't understand what's going on or who's in there. But the more you hang out in there, the more you realize and you see there's some pretty amazing people in there. And that's that's what I've learned through this process is the the things that, that you guys do, that the, the community does together um, and, and gives us all a place to, to be ourselves and be transparent. Um, it's just, it's a little heaven on earth, man. <laughs> I'll say, I'm going to leave it at that. Little, I, you know, the lovely Laura and I think so. We, we, we love, you know, we, we love our tribe, whatever you want to call it, you know, the MDP tribe. Um, but we love even more um, seeing everyone um, families becoming successful, and um, we've enjoyed seeing you and Deanna um, just blossom. And we love hearing your stories now when you're traveling, the things you're doing, and we see you. And just, um, I have to admit, I always love seeing Lance's face. He's, he's just one of those guys you just love being around. Um, but to see your brand, how your brand has grown and developed, and and um, again, what, what you're doing for your community, we, we just love seeing that. And so. Lance, we, again, we appreciate you uh, taking the time to be on here and sharing your expertise and your experience. And it was good seeing you, man. Look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, anytime. I enjoyed the heck out of it. All right, brother. Take care. You too.